Today we're here with Christina, who's going to be on Best of Both Worlds. And on this episode of Best of Both Worlds, we're going to be talking about the Fraxel versus the CO2 laser, because sometimes people get confused. So do you have any objectives in getting this treatment done that you want to talk about? Um, no, no, nothing? I have nothing, no objectives. So why do you do cosmetic treatments? I love doing the laser treatments because it evens out my skin tone. It um, makes me feel beautiful, bright. Good. Yeah. I love that. Yes. And when you feel beautiful, how do you feel? Uh, more outgoing. Outgoing mm -hmm. and confident, right? Confident. I love it. I love it. So we're going to be showing you a demonstration and showing you the differences of the two lasers coming up. Welcome to Best of Both Worlds. We have Laura, one of our nurse practitioners, who's a laser expert. We have Christina, who is going to be our patient today, and of course, me, Dr. Tim Joshin. And today we're talking about the difference between um, the Fraxel laser and the fractionated CO2. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Laura demonstrate the Fraxel and I'm gonna demonstrate the CO2. But the primary differences between the two are uh, the erbium is non-ablative and the CO2 is ablative. And to me, the difference is really that the CO2 has heat, so it'll shrink and tighten the skin, whereas the erbium is, it does not have that extra feature to it. So what I like about the CO2 is that you will get tissue contraction, so you're gonna see a more dramatic reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. Um, the nice thing about the erbium, on the other hand, is that there's less downtime. So this is a laser that's sort of like a lunchtime lift. Am I putting my fingers in front of your face? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's, a, there's a little bit of a difference because with this, with a Fraxel, like I said, you can do a lunchtime peel with it, um, but you do get dramatic results. Another difference is that with the erbium, we're gonna do it, what, four to six times? Yeah, you can do up to eight passes. Today we're gonna to do about four, just because we're gonna be doing the combination. Sure, but I mean, how many treatments would you need with a fraction? Oh, you can do, yeah, four to six. Four to six yeah. treatments. Mm -hmm. With a CO2, it's a one-time treatment. But with the, with the CO2, even though it's a one-time treatment, you're gonna have downtime anywhere from seven to 14 days. So we're gonna get started here. First thing we're gonna do, because we're doing the CO2, I'm gonna use a little bit of um, local anesthesia to make sure it doesn't hurt too bad. Now, Christina is a good sport. Are you, do you have high pain threshold or low pain threshold? Um, I'm in the medium, medium. Medium, okay. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna do a regional block. What that means is there's a nerve that runs up here and innervates or sensitizes this area here. So if we numb this area right here, it's right in this little notch and you can feel the notch. If you take your finger, you'll feel a little notch. We put a little bit of numbing there to get the regional block. Again, I'm doing it on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of stagger this so we can get it so she doesn't have a lot of discomfort. Because one of the things we like to do at Contour Dermatology is make sure people do not suffer. Now, Laura does my Fraxels all the time. Could I get a... Yeah, no, no. Yeah. All right. Laura does this to me all the time, so she's really the expert. So I'm gonna let her do the majority of talking here. Mm -hmm. So. Well, um, the doctor does it. He's so brave, he does it without me. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, yes. He uses the sometimes, numbing, yes. So, sometimes. Yeah. This is a great way um, to quickly numb the area and it's very painless. So it's nice for Christina so she's, she's not you know, suffering through this. So. Okay. so now I gave her a little bit of a bruise mm -hmm. and we're gonna get started. So Laura, I'm gonna, what position would you like her in? To, And with this laser, you don't need to wear goggles. Is that correct? Oh yeah, you don't. But you know what? I'm gonna do it just to be. On the well, same the only side. reason we talk about that is because people in the audience sometimes get a little bit hostile yeah. if we're not wearing goggles exactly. or saying we, we don't know what we're doing because we're not being safe. So I want yeah. people to know we adhere to the safest 
strict as safety yes. standards. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and so that's why. Now get yes, up close, kind of, if you don't mind. So if, yeah, you can kind of already see the erythema. Um, the little they call these little um, dots microdermal zones, um, and that's what you're kind of seeing. If you can, I don't know if you can see that closely or not, but when you do, you'll see those little tiny thermal zones. And that's how I know it's doing what it needs to do. Now, Christina, are you feeling anything at all? I am not. This okay, is the this best is way to get a fraxel. This is probably the best way to get a fraxel. So, those of you who have kind of a little bit of a lower pain threshold, um, we can do the injection numbing. It really helps a lot. The only downside to that is you're probably going to have a little bit of bruising and swelling. So, it's going to, if your downtime is going to be a little bit longer. But I think that this really improves the texture and the color, and I, I just think there's nothing like it. And for off-face, what do you think of off-face? Oh, it's, it's beautiful for off-face. Um, I think that, I think that um, you know, of all the lasers, this is probably the best one for body. I mean, we can do, you can do things like IPL and all those kinds of things, but they, they do run a little bit of a higher risk. This one's very, very safe. And if you notice, uh, Laura's doing a crisscross pattern here. Exactly. So go one direction and then the other direction. So cross hatching technique. And again, like I said, we do about um, 48 passes. But since we're doing the CO2 right over this, I'm just gonna do the four. Already you can see she just has this generalized erythema. It's beautiful. Yep, so, so you can see that. Turn. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the CO2. We're lowering the settings because we're doing a non-standard treatment. And that non-standard treatment is we're doing the, fra uh, the fraxel first and the CO2 on top of it. And we're doing this just to demonstrate both, but this is not something we traditionally will do. Okay, here we go. And Kendall, get in nice and close, please. Mm -hmm. And you'll see with this one. Beautiful. And I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. when this laser is going, which I think is really remarkable. Um, you see it a lot more when it's around the eyes. Yeah, that's and right. I really love that. I love seeing that because then that's when you know it's doing what it needs to do. But also just if you take and look at the comparison, we've done the Fraxel here, which the skin looks perfectly normal. Here it looks like it's charred just a little bit. So that's the difference. Now this white char will go from white to sort of a red, and then it'll turn into a brownish discoloration. Now, Laura said you do eight passes with the Fraxel. With this, we do about, um, we do one to two. Sometimes in areas where you have a lot of wrinkles, we'll do three passes. But again, you can see this is a pretty quick treatment. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> that's it. Very nice. So, mm -hmm. okay. So with this treatment, Laura is the expert in the Fraxel, and so you got to see her demonstrate that, and you got to see the CO2. So now you have a little bit of an idea what the difference is. So if you have any questions, contact contact us at contourderm.com. Absolutely. Or Bye. call us. Or call us.